Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you all stay safe and well. This is box number two from the two items I purchased from Banggood. The items were in their Central European warehouse, which is in the Czech Republic or Czechia. As you can see, it's a product by FMS. This was another Black Friday pre-sale. 45% off this one. Yeah, I've always wanted one of these, but never got around to buying one because they were too expensive. When this came up at Banggood, I thought, oh yes, I'm definitely getting that. And fortunately for me, they also had it in the Central European warehouse. So I've just waited five days for this to arrive. The box looks as though it's been hit by a shotgun. But the damage on the box doesn't seem to have gone past the first layer of corrugations so I'm hoping the inside is going to be okay. Shall we see what's inside? Oh wow look at that it's a mower it's a 1.5 meter wingspan mower glider and it's in the FMS packaging Superb. If I turn that light down, I'll get rid of that glare. There we go. Let's see if we can find the specs. So here are the specs on the screen. As you can see, it's a 1.5 metre. Length I'm not particularly concerned about. Weight, 627 grams. It's got a 1700 kV motor, 20 amp speed controller, four 9 gram servos says where the centre of gravity is on it prop size 9x5 two blade folding prop and the battery is a 1300 two cell it's so elegant this glider it's another Swiss marking isn't it because the cub I've got is Swiss and as you can see at this picture here it has a gull wing and that's what makes this look so attractive it's old styling glider it the actual glider itself didn't have a folding prop it didn't have it wasn't powered it was a proper glider but the model has a folding prop at the front and it's so elegant it's old school elegance in foam let's see what's inside the box right well there we are that's what's inside the box brand new unopened Hasn't been out of the box since it was made. 45% discount. Now that's a bargain. I will do what I normally do with these. I will get everything out, lay it out in front of us, and then we'll go through each piece individually and take a closer look at it. All right, look at that. That, that is old school. Let's look at the manual. 1.5 metre mower. Parts, all the different parts listed at the front. A bit about the battery. And then we have instructions in the assembly. Looks like it's a screw in tail. Yep, connecting up. Servos, settings, push rods. Installing your spar, and it has a dihedral on it. Connecting the wings. The motor's already connected, but it's got instructions on how to do it, or the prop, I should say. Where to put your receiver, where to install the battery. Rotation of the prop, quite interesting. Centre of gravity, big page on the centre of gravity. Hmm. Speed control information all in the back. Doesn't have uh, movements, I'll have to take a look. Take a look. 
But yeah, nice FMS manual. Here's the goodie bag. Got a plastic moulded C clamp there with two screw holes, and it's got a shaped thing here with two screw holes and a magnet. So that obviously goes on the back of the fuselage so your canopy can attach through the magnet. That's all there is in there and a set of screws and a Wiley and that is it. That's all there is in that. Let's look at the spar. Now this spar is metal. It's a metal tube but it has a dihedral on it. Maybe you can see that. So the wings are V-shaped but they're also gull shaped which I'll show you in a minute. That's why I like this one so much. So here's the wing. Can you see the gull shape in it? Now this is a rigid wing. It has a spar here or a spar tube. <laughs> it looks like a spar tube. It goes along here for that metal spar which will give it some dihedral and then it's got Let's see if I can see through it. Yep, and then it's got a spar that goes all the way along here. You can see the holes there. It comes along there, along there, and into here. Through there, actually, as well. Already taped up on the underside where the servo wire comes. And these are, yep, they are 9 gram digital servos. Such a Tiny, tiny push rod. <laughs> yeah. Beautifully moulded, just beautiful. All these panelling, panel lines in it. Yep, so that's one half of the wing. Servo connector. It's also got this plastic moulded bump which is to protect the wing if you're landing on tarmac. I land on grass so it's not really important. But I'll probably this side of it stick my easy light. Can you see the gull shape in the wing? So it'll be a bit like that. I also like the way it comes along and then kinks out. Yeah, very nice. And of course it's got the mower decals and that's a decal running along. And here's the other wing. This is a decal that's stuck on. This is the FMS part that's stuck on. Apart from that, the wing is identical. Very rigid, very rigid. And it's got a 9 gram digital servo in there as well. Yeah, it's got a 9 gram digital servo in there. There's a hole for your spar. So I will be putting black striping on this. And I might use these to set them up. It's a horizontal stabiliser with elevator. This is laminated, you can see it's laminated so clearly. It's got a nice shine along there. It moves so easily. But again, they've got this moulding in it. It's beautifully compact foam. Spar running all the way across there. Two holes where you drop your screws in already connected onto this big plastic mould here that joins the two halves of the elevator together. Beautiful. And then we have the fuselage. It's very slim, very dainty, very rounded spinner, folding prop blades, a hole in here, I suspect that's to release the motor mount. 
one on this side as well. Cockpit, which it won't stay on because it uh, needs the rest of it to do it. There's a magnet there that attaches to a plastic bit in the bag. Can't see the bag, it attaches to this piece. There's all your wires coming through. It's got one of these JST connectors. It only takes a two cell battery. There's your servos. <laughs> Look at those in there. Goodness me. But they're in push rods, they're in sleeves, and they go right the way down. They've got a rubber piece on the end for connecting. This one's already connected. Let's take that off, so I'll just lose that otherwise. Put it down there. It's the vertical stabiliser with rudder. Already connected up, already connected to a servo. This is painted on with a white decal cross. This is all painted with the sticker. Visit Team FMS at fmsmodel.com if you've ever gone to fmsmodel.com and seen if they've got anything. They have nothing in stock. They have all these things listed and none of it's in stock. These here, these little chin or little indents are for your finger and thumb when you launch it. You hold it like that and give it a good old throw. And away she goes. Predator 20 amp speed controller tucked away in there. You've got the strap and a little bay here for your battery just here strap and there is a hole on the underside here to take in airflow and feed it over the battery and around the battery yeah that looks quite good it's also got an outlet here for the airflow it's got a wheel for when you're landing on tarmac you can bring it in land it on that wheel and it's got wingtip skids it's got this black plastic tail skid here but it's so sleek so retro I'm gonna hang this in my room and I'll probably replace the carbon cub with this because this is nice so what we've we got here obviously we've got rudder and then we've got the elevator. I think the receiver can just pop in here, this hole here. And then obviously we've got our battery and this is the throttle. Then you've got your ailerons on a Y lead, so a nice four channel. AR410 will go in here very nicely. Yes, this is nice. The moulding's fantastic, perfect condition. And do you know, I can't for the life of me remember if I've got any of the batteries for it, two S1300s. I'll have to go and check. And if I haven't, I'll just order some. Hopefully they'll be in the UK, so they'll arrive within a few days. No gluing, just screwing. Get it together. It's got a 1.5 meter wingspan, just about the right size to get into the car. Yeah, very nice. Plenty of time to work on it as well. Yeah, I just think it looks awesome. I love the red and white as well, so this will go really well as a pair with the Cub. So I'll take the Cub and this to the field on the same day. So thanks for watching. Stay well, stay safe. And I will see you on another video. Cheers.